What's up guys? So if you're a true OG of the channel, you might remember a very popular video I uploaded an entire 9 months ago titled 8 ways to win every single Fortnite game you ever play. Since it was such a banger, and to celebrate hitting 400 subscribers, I've decided to once again give back to the community and show you guys 10 more ways to win every single Fortnite game you ever play. Enjoy. Starting off the list, we've got rapidly switching between your guns and pickaxe. Now you've all probably seen how professional Fortnite streamers and YouTubers, like myself, often tend to quickly change between their pick and guns and there is of course a good reason for this. The truth is, in doing this they're actually keeping their brain active and of course in Bruh. kill mode, which is essential if you ever want to win a game. Now to do this, it's very simple across all platforms, on PlayStation you just want to spam your pickaxe button, like so. And you might be surprised to know that it's just as simple across all the devices you play on. So pat yourself on the back, you've just earned an extra 14% win rate. And that is epic. Numerous studies have shown that positive reinforcement can dramatically increase a desired result. How this relates to Fortnite is simple. Once you've earned yourself a kill, make sure you dance on your opponent as soon as possible. This is to ensure that they do in fact see your take the L before leaving their gamer chair to punch the closest drywall. Every time you do this, you'll subconsciously remember that you earned the right to dance, and it felt good, and you'll want to do it again, by whatever means necessary, which in turn means you'll rack up more kills. Duh. Of course, 90s have been a staple of Fortnite for years now, we all know this to be the case. But different variations of 90s have come about recently, and the ones I'm about to show you really do make arena lobbies seem as though they're filled with bots. Now this one may seem strange, but really just using doors in your walls for 90s can drastically improve speed and accuracy in your placement. Another interesting technique is to slowly crank the 90. Really make sure you're putting down the right builds in the right places to make sure you aren't wasting any time at all while outbuilding your opponent. In Fortnite, it's always important to have better loot than your opponent. This is to allow for error while still laying down more damage points into the enemy than they are to you. To ensure you get the best loot possible at the start of the game, I suggest you try and land somewhere on this big part of the map in the middle, around here somewhere, and try to avoid places such as here and here to ensure you get the most loot possible as quickly as possible. Now on to my fifth tip. So, you've cracked your gamer back and you've cracked your gamer knuckles, then swiveled your gamer chair as close to the screen as you can possibly get, and now you're ready to play Fortnite, right? Wrong. A good preparation always includes at least 2-3 to three hours of pre-gaming meditation before you click the Epic Games icon. This is to make sure that you have a clear mind before you begin. It helps if you partner your meditation with a personalised mantra. Mine is, I didn't lose, I threw the game. Now you've found your own mantra, repeat it while sitting or laying on the floor for the full 3 hours and you'll be ready to get dubs like never before. There comes a time in every Fortnite gamer's life where they are presented with the opportunity to scream in either excitement or in anguish. Most adult players attempt to hold in the urge and instead utter a quiet GG or darn. But in fact, this is the incorrect way to play. Here are some examples of professional Fortnite players using vocal exercises to improve their aim and builds. <gasps> Get out of there! No! Oh, I had a fucking jump pad that I could have used, man. Those kids were so fucking bad, dude. I'm so fucking dumb, dude. I'm done with this game, man. It's so fucking bad, dude. He's so bad, man. No, are you kidding me? I couldn't build because of this stupid fucking crate, dude? The metal crate? Are you kidding me, dude? Fucking everything has no idea what they're fucking doing, dude. This fucking game is terrible! My god! What are you aiming at? Oh, fuck me, dude. Fuck me! A guy on me, guy on me. You're alone? Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Okay? No, man, he fucking bail stuffed me, dude! With fucking duelies, and he's gonna fall kill me. You're such Ready? a pussy, he just went through my fucking wall, dog. 
As you can see, this is how these amazing players get their skills. These vocal exercises are simple to do and should only be done after a victory royale or in the unlikely event where you lose a match. Now this tip is an important one. When you find yourself in a battle of any kind, it is essential to make sure that you have absolutely no fucking clue what you are editing and building. To do this, just increase your sensitivity to max for all related options and excessively shake the joystick or mouse while holding down the build button. You'll know you've done this correctly when it takes you 4 entire seconds to use up all your materials. It's also important to place a floor and a cone above you while ramp brushing so that you can instantly edit through them. Because, while the enemy is focusing on what amazing talent you have, you'll have an opportunity to get an easy headshot and kill. We all know the feeling. It's the final 1v1. You've got all the bullets you could ever ask for. A golden loadout complete with an RPG, scar, shotgun, and whatever else you might need. But for some reason, your palms begin to sweat and you start to lose your cool. This can severely affect your ability to crank those weird door 90s we talked about. However, there is actually a simple solution to this. It will completely eradicate any stress you might come under while watching a Ramirez soccer skin run towards you. All you need to do is reach across your desk, turn off your monitor or TV, and then you can either play on your phone or go get some food or something. Okay, so it's the final top six right here. Um, and I've just realized that my hands are getting sweaty and so here is me demonstrating how to effectively remove all the stress that comes with being in such a close proximity to the win. Incredible. Another easy way to improve your win rate is to install a few fun little hacks. After all, it's a victimless crime. There have never been any reports of Epic Games retaliating against these hackers, although it does clearly state in the user agreement that it is against the rules. Professional Fortnite player FaZe Jarvis uploaded a video of him using these hacks. Look how much fun he's having. This could be you. This is the moment you've been waiting for. I'm gonna restart my game and I'm gonna have aimbot. You will see, trust me, you will see. I don't miss a shot! Yeah, they've given me aimbot. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna be insane at the game for once. <laughs> what? You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. <sighs> Epic Games, you know, I, I know how big of a mistake I made. Bruh. This one might seem a little stupid at first, but there is in fact a good reason to avoid shields altogether in Fortnite. The reason is that on average you tend to drink about 5-8 to eight shields every single game, and the time it takes you to drink them will eventually add up. Let's do the math. Okay, so let's assume that every game you consume 5 minis which takes 2 seconds to drink each, and 2 big pots which take 5 seconds to drink each. That's already an entire 20 seconds of precious gamer time. Let's also say you do a big gaming sesh, like 25 games or so. That's almost eight and a half minutes in total of drinking shields, which makes you an easy target. So this was my personal favorite top 10 ways to win every single Fortnite game you ever play. If you combine all these tips I've mentioned, it is impossible to lose a game of Fortnite. If you enjoyed this epic video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to join the crew. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>